This is Hillbillies in the Bush, and uh, here I am again along the Ohio River. Of course, we got a nice barge going up the river. Uh, uh, it's probably about 8 30 in the morning, uh, Friday morning, and uh, I brought me some tuna and some crackers to eat me a cold lunch, or a breakfast, I should say. Uh, my stomach's growling, so I'm going to have to put something in it. And uh, lo and behold, I did not bring an eating utensil. Now, I do have uh, my Leatherman on me, so I've got a can opener. But uh, I did not bring any sporks or spoon or fork or anything like that. Uh, it's not that far of a walk back to the house, but even if it was just up over the bank there, I still wouldn't walk up over the bank to go get a fork. Let me show you what I did here. Uh, along the riverbank here, there's all kinds of trees and saplings and stuff. This one just happens to be a maple. But as you can see, you don't need to go get your fork. Uh, you can make one pretty quick. And all I did was found one that had a little uh, three-pronger on it there and just kind of peeled the bark back and kind of thinned it out a little bit. And that's going to be my fork. Uh, it didn't take but a couple, probably about a minute to make, so... It'd take me longer than that to walk up over the bank, probably. So, uh, I'm going to sit here and eat me a lunch. And i got some things I want to show you there uh, that you might find interesting. So, I'll be back as soon as I get done eating my breakfast, I guess it is, not lunch. And, uh, we'll see y'all later. Okay, just to show you guys what I was talking about here, uh, get your little fork here and uh, see if I can hold this still while I do this. But uh, it works out pretty good. Uh, as you can see, you can get you a pretty good little scoop on there if you want. Uh, now I kind of dulled them tips down on this, but uh, you could actually sharpen them up and if you had something that you had to stick like being a sausages or something like that, you could do that as well uh, but just to show you guys how well that works uh, worked pretty good uh, I've used this before uh, when I uh, accidentally forgot to pack a fork or a knife uh, or just didn't want to pack a fork or a spoon uh, this here works just as well and when you're done all you have to do is pitch her aside uh, and once you peel the bark back off of it, uh, it's good and clean. And, uh, you know, there's no germs on the, on the wood or anything. Uh, I would definitely pick a wood that's not poisonous or doesn't have, like, bad taste. This just happens to be maple and uh, it, it does not have any bad taste or anything. But, uh, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and finish my breakfast and uh, shoot some more videos. So, till next time, uh, we'll see you all later.